What are you wearing right now? Pants? And what is the thing that sits peacefully under the button on your pants? The zipper. This is how it's made and let's see what a zipper hides behind its teeth. The zipper wasn't actually designed for clothing at the time it was invented. A mechanical engineer named Whitcomb Judson invented the zipper for his friend who had a sore back and couldn't bend over to tie his shoes. What a friend, right? Of course, his invention was a little bit different from the modern zipper. You know, the one made out of metal teeth and tapes. Manufacturers nowadays first melt the aluminium and put it into a moulding machine to create the zipper's unique design. When it was invented, it was called the clasp locker, which involved a series of hooks and eyes as fastens that can be opened and closed with one hand. After Whitcomb patented his design, he started his own company to manufacture the clasp locker, but unfortunately, he never achieved commercial success but somebody who worked for him did. Gideon Sundback was the head engineer in Judson's company. He developed Judson's design and invented the zipper as we know it today. He patented it and called it a separable fastener. People weren't very practical with the names of inventions back then, huh? Sundback's design consisted of two flexible metal teeth closed and opened by pulling a slide along them. And today, after the manufacturers bring the aluminium out of the moulding machine, they break and separate the teeth and sliders. Then they bring the elements together and ta-da! There you have your zipper. The name zipper stuck with the invention because of the sound that the fastener made, which is, you know, this. Now that we have zipped through the story of zippers, stay tuned for the next episode of How It's Made next week. In the meantime, check out our other original series.